grew up playing competitive sports and, and you know, always, you know, growing up thinking, you know, why, why do certain athletes excel and others don't? What is, you know, is it nature or nurture? And sort of what's behind this? How can, you know, how, how are certain athletes picked to kind of move to the next level? And all, and to are, make it and, work. And all these things to sort of like everything wondering, they you know, have. what is greatness and how can it be cultivated? And, and, you know, it kind of led me on this journey. And I was also to talk to the greatest athletes themselves, you know, Wayne Gretzky, Pele, Jared Rice, and, and, and more, and sort of hear from them how they did it. And obviously we'll watch it on school with the documentary, but was there one common thread that either surprised you or stuck out during your during the process, during the journey? Yeah, I think the most amazing thing was that, you know, it's counterintuitive. The, the greatest athletes of all time were often athletes that you wouldn't expect would be great based on their genetic mm. kind of makeup or sort of how physically they looked. You maybe know, they're playing a sport that they're maybe uh, in society, maybe too short to be exactly. playing, and they excel at it. Yeah, yeah, and you see this over and over. You see it with Wayne Gretzky, with Tom Brady, with Lionel Messi. All of these guys had, you know, tremendous weaknesses that they were able to actually make into their greatest strengths and, and sort of reimagine the game around their around themselves. Danny, yeah, well, well, let me ask you. You're an athlete sitting here. Let me just ask you. <laughs> um, what what was? Is it family? Is it? You grew up and, and were watching sports. What drove you as an athlete? Um, I think what really drove me was my love and passion for the game. Um, my mom always told me the story. So I used to play a ton of sports when I was younger. And my mom kind of forced me to dance in the beginning. <laughs> and I was up on stage and I had the grumpiest look on my face. But when I was playing hockey, I always had a smile on my face. Yeah. So that was really <laughs> transcend sports and, and you know we, we like the idea of you know groups going together and discussing it afterwards there's a lot to talk about there's a lot of lessons in the film and and so we're really excited I was gonna say before you I, I think whether you are, are an athlete or you play sports is I, I think some of the themes are probably pretty universal that we can all learn from no matter what our hobby or our, our passion is so yeah. guys thank you both for both being here I really appreciate it Tonight, everybody, uh, In Search of Greatness Hits Theaters on uh, November, on November 2nd. But like we said, uh, you can go to uh, the Walker Art Center tonight over the past few years. Uh, you, you see, oh, no, oh, we're not going to roll this right now. But anyway, go to the Walker Art Center's website for more information on tonight. Now, you, over the years, you've seen me attempting my great moments in very various athletic feats. Don't you laugh. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> As we go to break, a look back at some of our favorite Jason Does Sports moments. Thank <laughs> you. 